Hey, what's good everybody? Trials of Osiris is rapidly approaching us and it's gonna be out this weekend. And if my video is out after Trials of Osiris, it's already here. Anyways, I've been practicing a lot in the Illumination playlist and trying to get my light level as high as possible just to make sure to mitigate some of that light enablement. So in this video, I wanna give some general tips and tricks to people that think they're lacking in the PvP side of things of Destiny 2. Mainly the average and the quote unquote bad players that seem to struggle in the Crucible itself or trying to get glory in the survival playlist. These tips are aimed mostly at those kinds of players, but the PvP warlords that are three stacking and destroying everybody, hitting unbroken every single season, will be able to apply these concepts in their games as well to secure flawless runs and multiple runs to the lighthouse. Before I get into the specifics, I'm gonna go ahead and give you two general tips that I think that all players, bad or not, can implement into their gameplay, and if they want to improve and one day hang with the big boys. I feel like I'm going to say tips so many times by the end of this video. So general tip number one is have a warm up routine or warm up your aim. So my personal warm up routine is 10 to 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes of playing Osu, which is the anime game where you click circles and everything's really cute. What that game does to me is that it increases my reaction speed or it helps my reaction speed, my, my wrist, my arm aim and stuff. And so I don't feel awkward when I'm playing and everything. I'm sure after a long day of work or a long day of university that you come home and you try Try to go into a counter-strike game or destiny 2 rather you feel not comfortable yet getting into a warm-up routine will help you feel grounded and have you get used to playing any video game general tip number two and it's not a forehead answer it may sound like it get better aim the way to get better aim is to actually go ahead and figure out your perfect sensitivity you have in game on destiny 2 as well as getting a mouse with dpi settings please if you don't have a mouse with dpi settings spend the 20 to 30 dollars if you really do like gaming this much to just get you one there are a bajillion videos out on youtube right now that will tell you how to get your perfect sensitivity as well as something optimized for your setup whether you have desk space or you don't don't have enough mouse pad movement something like that okay now with the general tips out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and get into the specific tips i got for you guys to improve at trials of osiris when you're bad at pvp tip number one i got for you guys is play elimination play the elimination playlist okay the game type is different than survival it's different from all the other modes i've ever played in destiny 2. i haven't played destiny 1 and then jumping right into this one is it's a bit weird there's different pacings the revive mechanic is is different and as well as the laning and the amount of times people push aggressively versus the amount of times people play really defensively is more prominent in, in this playlist the biggest difference that i found when playing high level glory matches in survival is that people push a lot less aggressively and at the same time you can't push aggressively it's because if you die you're dead for the rest of the round until your team makes a play and revives you there's tendencies that you have to get rid of so just play it you don't want the first time you play elimination be the first card of trials of osiris or you're about to go flawless and you're getting carried but then you get carried away no pun intended tip number two be mindful of your mistakes this is a concept that can be applied to veteran players pro players wh whatever kind of player you are including myself just be mindful of your mistakes if your tendency is to ape and rush in when everyone's sitting in the back of the map the parse rifles do you just put your entire team in a 2v3 or if your tendency is to sit back the entire time and the enemy has a really good sniper on you and picks you off every time if you find yourself dying too many times in a match, go ahead and take a step back and ask yourself, am I overpeaking? What am I doing wrong? Am I not with my team? Is it three people shooting me instead of one? Am I taking too many 1v1s? Can I not take this guy in a 1v1 fight? Just be mindful of your mistakes, man, and you'll, you'll be a great asset to your team. Tip number three, focus on what you're good and bad at. It kind of goes with tip number two, but play to your strengths and incorporate some strategies of your weaknesses. If your weaknesses is in one-on-one -on -one engagements with hand cannons against a really good spare rations player or something like that, consider another gun or find a way to give yourself an advantage, like sitting in a rift or putting a grenade something like that. And if you're good at calling and making plays, or if you're really good and you're and you're good at pushing aggressively go ahead and use the shotgun man just go ahead and ape it out and no one will no one will be mad at you so takeaway of tip number three is improve what you're good at and compensate for what you're terrible at tip number four take note of the pace of your enemy team what do i mean by the pace i mean if everyone's sitting passively in the back of the map 
take map position. If ever, if that guy is pushing that spot every single time and peeking with the sniper, take him out or peek into their lane. Taking note of what the enemy team's habits and what they do is literally half the game or maybe 80% of the game. Being able to know which spots um, people like to go to every round is essential to your key to victory. Being able to read your enemy team or where they're gonna go or when they're gonna pop their super, um, you're gonna have many opportunities to win out on that engagement and potentially embarrass them. Tip number five I got is, is something to touch on loadouts and the specs of your character. Use the best loadout you have with the best character stats that you can pull. What I mean by that is if you're comfortable with uh, with pulse rifles like Blast Furnace or Claws of the Wolf or something, use that and um, complement it with another game uh, with another weapon accordingly. Hand cannons are weapon, you know, spare rations or rows, or if you want to snipe or use revoker, go ahead and use those. The loadouts and, and the specs of your character, which is getting your class ability um, back a lot, getting your melee ability back a lot, your grenades, is it's literally the fun of Destiny 2. You can have many different specs of your character and as many um, loadouts as you can. So just use the one that you're most comfortable with. Tip number six I got, which goes with loadouts and the specs of your character, is use the class that you feel the most comfortable with. It may seem like another forehead thing, but don't go trying to learn Titan or Warlock if you're a Hunter main in Trials of Osiris, okay? To give you guys some clarity, the class that you quote unquote main in this game, you are the expert of your class. You know what exactly what you can do with this class, okay? You are the one that knows how this class operates. Um, don't be pressured to run one Hunter, one Warlock, and one Titan. I'm pretty sure no one feels this because in survival, I literally run into three Hunters all the time. Speaking from a Hunter as well. Use the class you're comfortable with, use the abilities. There's no need to force yourself to go into the meta class, okay? Try to play in the proper sight lines. Um, what I mean by that is, Engage in, in fights that you have sight lines for your teammates to help you out with that fight or know which lane the sniper peaks all the time or which lane that you could run down and go ahead and get a nice flank on. Just try to play in the proper sight lines of the map. I, I forget what map rotations are there, but try to learn them as well. And that comes with practice in the, in the elimination playlist. Big tip I got for you. Do not die. Okay. May seem like another forehead rule, but a lot of people don't know how to not die. My rule that I always live by, and I think I heard it in a Destiny stream and it's stuck with me, is be at least one shot away from cover. What's that mean? Is that like you always play and engage when you have a place to retreat to. Don't push out when you have no cover, unless you're really, really confident in your shot. But you click on this video because you're not that confident in your shot, all right? Just don't die, engage with cover. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 11 tips, I'm pretty sure. Use your super correctly. It's great to get a, a fat team wipe, but if you can't do it, don't force yourself to. And people can take down supers in this game, all right? I do it all the time. I snipe them out of supers, and I, I'm sure you've done it as well. Don't be pressured to use your super in a 1v3 situation unless it's the last round or you're confident in yourself. However, using your super in a 1v3 situation can help turn the tide, and by using your super correctly, you can force them out in a way no one wants to die in this game mode as per the last tip, right? But using it to create some space to revive your teammates is fantastic. Uh, using your super and turning a 1v2 situation into a 3v2 or a 2v2 situation because of the fact that you popped Fist of Havoc or something is a large advantage and just use it. Don't feel pressure to get kills with the super, use it to create opportunities. And the last, well, probably the most important tip, and I think it's number 11, stop being honorable and please team shot stop being honorable in a japanese style dueling match of 1v1ing your opponents okay this is a team game go ahead and team shot and kill them as fast as you can you fight to win having skill in a 1v1 and being able to outshoot your opponent is amazing in this game i encourage it um even so but this is a fight to get to the lighthouse okay stop being honorable team shot with your other two guardians taking down as quickly as possible just imagine this in a 140 to 150 hand cannon it's a three top to the face sometimes you think it's it's less than a second before you're dead because i think it is but think about it this way one person on your team has a hand cannon of 140 or 150 or even 110 and they all shoot that at same guarding in the face at the same time it's big damage oh shit outro 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 all right, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I hope these tips have helped you give yourself some more confidence and to add to your arsenal when bringing it to Trials of Osiris. I resonate with you guys that don't feel like you are that great at PvP and you're kind of scared of this type of content, but you know, hopefully I gave you, yourself, I gave you guys a push in the back as I gave myself a push in the back to um, you know, implement these tips in my gameplay as well. 
if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like give maybe give me a comment and tell me what you had for breakfast or something like that if you like my content enough and you know give it a subscribe because i'll be making a lot more um i really do appreciate you guys once again taking the time watching my video and i'll see you guys at the lighthouse